to Ottawa now and the Senate. The recent scandal has put the whole issue of reform back on the front burner and has Canadians actually debating issues of constitutional change. Today, those arguments went before the Supreme Court of Canada as the government asked the High Court to weigh in on whether it can unilaterally make changes to the Senate. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky now with what happened. Terry. Well, Peter, this really ought to be an only in Canada story. Where else would you have lineups to see lawyers debating Section 42.1b of the Constitution? But the attraction, of course, is a rare chance to do something about the Senate. Canadians have waited 146 years for the Senate to change. For the federal government, battered by the scandal over its own appointees, the Senate is ripe for reform, maybe even abolition. But how will the Supreme Court allow it? Does it mean a constitutional amendment? And if so, must all the provinces agree or just most of them? So the court is being asked to set the rules. What about term limits or electing senators? The federal lawyers say that doesn't mean changing the constitution. Is it a change? Well, it is a change, but it's not a constitutional change. That's the whole point. But what about scrapping the Senate entirely? That means a constitutional amendment, and the justices seem skeptical. You take away all the powers of the Senate, and you now say you have no, uh, there'll be no members. Yes. So what do we do? Just pension off everybody who's there, and that's the end of it? Just, I'd just like to understand how this works. On well, the that's, uh, <clears throat> that's not an issue for today. Um, <laughs> The federal lawyer said he's only asking if abolition is okay in theory. You're abolishing the role of the Senate through reduction of its powers. So at, the, at, this, at this time you no longer have the same kind of parliament that is, that is known. If you abolish the Senate, then you change the definition of parliament. The provinces are skeptical too. They say all the provinces would have to agree to abolition, not just as Ottawa claims, seven provinces with half the population. Ontario's position is that abolishing the Senate would so fundamentally reorder a key federal institution that the consent of all members of the Federation is required. But the provinces also say they're all for reform. So, obvious question. Why would you be urging us to take an approach that makes it harder rather than easier to reform? It ought to be difficult and it ought to force politicians and, and academics. Ought it to be impossible? No. So it ought to be possible, but we're a long way from figuring out how. Two more days of hearings and a ruling at least a year away, Peter. All right, Terry, thank you. Terry's outside the Supreme Court tonight.